what's up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time you are here happy to have you here um so today i am going to be doing a little bit of a haul of the foods that i found that i gravitate towards the most i go back to the most uh that have helped me lose over 45 pounds in the last few months um so i have some condiments i have some breakfast foods i have protein shakes um, and some snacks. I need your guys' help because a product that I like has changed and sadly it no longer will work for me and I want you guys to help leave me some recommendations on something I can use to substitute it with. Alright, so why don't we start off with the biggest category for me which is going to be protein shakes. So what I've been using as the base of my protein shakes is some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I'm gonna put pictures up with nutritional information for most of the products listed uh, on the screen. So the good thing about the almond milk is that it is only 30 calories for a cup of it. I don't usually use a full cup of it in mine. I usually use four to six ounces and it tastes really good. It's creamy and I just don't get all the calories that milk has because I'm hitting my protein goals with other foods. All right, so this one, this Optimum uh, Gold Standard 100% whey protein in double rich chocolate is what I have been using for the bulk of my protein shakes with the almond milk. I'll put up the nutrition for it right now. So as you can see, it's a very nice amount of protein. It's low sugar and it's a really good thing to have in the morning. I usually start with my day with a yogurt, uh, some egg whites, or a protein shake, just depending on what I'm feeling for the my day. My next favorite that I've been using ever since the last video where I discovered I liked it so much is the Cafe Latte uh, Premier Protein. I'm going to put up a picture um, and the nutrition. I learned from my dietitian that these shouldn't be my primary source of protein. Uh, they're in our category three for my program and the uh, optimum is in the category one. So I tend to stick to this one uh, for the majority of the protein. Sheet. So this one, I don't actually have a picture. I'm going to just show you, uh, is a new love that I've discovered from Nadia's VSG journey on TikTok. Um, the Fairlife Core Power Elite. Um, this chocolate's okay. It has a little bit of a protein taste for me, but the strawberry one tastes exactly like a strawberry Nesquik, and I love it so much. They have 42 grams of protein, no added sugars, and 230 calories for the whole bottle. This, um, I tend to split into two meals, so I'll have, uh, half of it for breakfast and then the other half for lunch or a snack later in the day. These have also been great uh, when I'm running low at the end of the day and I just need to boost my protein and I'm not eating anything else for the day. Uh, these are from Bariatric Pal. These are the protein shots. They're crisp apple and they have 100 calories, zero sugar, zero carb, and 25 grams of protein. So moving into snacks, um, this... Uh, is the nuts and more cookie dough flavored. It is 50 calories for 13 grams. It has four grams of protein and one gram of added sugar in it. I really like this. I tend to mix this with my Dan and Light and Fit. Uh, I use the Dan and Light and Fit Greek uh, blueberry and a bunch of flavors. Uh, I like to mix the peanut butter with the blueberry and make uh, like a yogurt bowl with it. It tastes so good. It tastes exactly like a peanut butter and jelly. It's really delicious. These are incredible. These are the Lowry's Microwavable Pork Rinds. I just use the original flavor, but they do have a spicy flavor if that is your thing. Uh, they're 80 calories per serving of 14 grams, and they have 6 grams of protein in each serving. But they are so good, delicious, and I highly recommend them a lot. Next, I have cheese sticks, string cheese. They are thebomb.com. They're so good. They're so filling. It takes me a while to eat. It really helps me uh, with eating slow. And they're 80 calories. They have 7 grams of protein. And they're just a really good snack for the afternoon. I really like the Stu Leonard's brand if you're local. But I ran out of that. And I have the great value for now. But if you 
ever are near a Stu Leonard's and you see one, I highly recommend picking up their string cheese because it is really, really good. So I don't have this other one with me, uh, but I will show a picture. Those are the epic oven baked pork rinds. You can get them at Target, you can get them at Whole Foods, you can get them a bunch of places on Amazon. And they're just a really good snack, just like the Lowry's. Uh, but the Lowry's taste just a little bit better to me. And they're really, really good when they're warm and you freshly uh, pop them. I have been liking this Keto Wonderworks cereal in peanut butter. Uh, it's not bad. I usually do about a half serving uh, with some almond milk. I don't love it dry and it tastes like a very, very unsweetened Reese's Puff. These don't have the aftertaste that the Kashi Go Cinnamon Vanilla, I believe it was, had and I really couldn't even eat that one. I had to throw it out, which is unfortunate because all the keto uh, cereals are really expensive for a box of cereal. I believe the Wonderworks around me is $7 or $8 at Walmart. This is the Eat Me Guilt-Free Brownie, which the this brownie that I'm holding right here in my hand has great macros. It has 180 calories. Uh, four grams of added sugar, which is about my max that I like to go at per item. Uh, 22 grams of protein and six grams of fat. Uh, so it's very good for the macros. I love when at the end of the day, if I didn't do a protein shake that day, I could do a protein treat instead. And I'm still getting that protein fix that I need to complete my goal. But I'm not having to drink another protein shake because as much as I know that they're part of my life now, it does get old sometimes. So it's really nice to have an option of not a shake. The Eat Me Guilt Free brownies have changed macros, which means that they change their recipe, the way they do them. Uh, they only have 14 grams of protein now, 186 calories, I believe nine grams of added sugar and nine grams or so of added fat i believe uh, i'm not so sure on the fat one um but those to me are no longer worth it like i said four grams of added sugar really likes to be where i try to draw the line and nine grams of added sugar just doesn't work for me and i've tried to reach out to them on social media but i have yet to get a response from them or their team and it's kind of frustrating because they're alienating like an entire community of people who are buying their product I no longer feel comfortable buying their products because of the additional added sugar they over doubled it in the chocolate i believe and i was really upset because i tried to order the old recipe from the vitamin shops website because that's what the nutrition facts listed and it, when they came, they were unfortunate new recipe. So I have to deal with the hassle of returning them and getting my money back because I'm not going to compromise for myself and eat them when I know that that's really not something I should be doing. This is where you guys come in. Uh, if you have a recommendation for a protein bar or a brownie or dessert that you think maybe I would like, please drop it down below in the comments and I will be sure to give it a shot. I don't like the built bars. I don't like the quest bars. Uh, the one bars have been blah, uh, like not as offensive as the quest bars, but like they're not good in general. So that's been my biggest problem is I haven't found a protein bar other than the eat me guilt free ones that I actually like and enjoy. So it's a little bit of a blow that they are no longer an option, but I will enjoy this one when the time is right. That'll probably be it for me from the Eat Me Guilt-Free Company. Now I'm gonna get into things that aren't high in protein necessarily, but are really good. They're pretty low in calorie and are just tasty when you want a snack or a condiment. So for condiments, I have the Ray's no sugar added original barbecue sauce. It is super good. It tastes just like the Sweet Baby Ray's original, uh, but it is only 15 calories a table two, for two tablespoons. And I don't even ever use that. I only use like a tablespoon to dip uh, meat in. So really, really good option. Uh, this is the only thing from Walden Farms that I've tried so far. I have a couple of other things to try. I have the chocolate peanut butter, uh, the Alfredo sauce, and the marshmallow dip that I have uh, in the house, but I haven't actually tried them yet. So 
I can't speak to the rest of the company, but this specifically, the caramel syrup, is really, really good in an iced coffee. I haven't tried mixing it with the uh, Cafe Latte Premier, but I'm sure that that would be a really great uh, iced coffee caramel style. And uh, that's something I would always order from Duncan before surgery, is the caramel swirl iced coffee. And this definitely gives me a good vibe of that in my iced coffee from home now. For cream cheese, since I am a New Yorker, I love my bagels. I don't eat them very often now. I think I've had it once in the three months since surgery. But I loved sweet cream cheese like strawberry cream cheese was my go-to when I ordered a uh, bagel with cream cheese and the strawberry cream cheese has a lot of added sugar and I found one that is less added sugar I will put it up on the screen now As you can see, it's still not great, it's not fabulous, but it's a lot better than like your average strawberry cream cheese and it still gives me that sweet cream cheese fix and I only ever use about one tablespoon of it at a time. So I think that it's an okay compromise for me and how my diet is working. Uh, you can obviously judge that for yourself. Um, another thing I like to eat in the mornings or uh, as a snack that's protein, is turkey bacon. I don't eat it that often, but I really, really love just crisping a couple of slices up in the microwave and eating that. It's so good. It's super satisfying for bacon. I was a big bacon lover before surgery, and I actually haven't had real bacon since surgery. I've been sticking to the turkey bacon, and it is super good and super satisfying, and I highly recommend it. Okay, so the next things that I'm going to talk about are not high in protein, but are really tasty, and I definitely recommend them if you just want to treat yourself every once in a while. These are the Fiber One Brownies, and they are the chocolate fudge, and I believe I also have the chocolate chip cookie one in here. But my biggest recommendation uh, with the Fiber One Brownies is heat them in the microwave for 15 seconds. Put the chocolate ch uh, fudge one on a plate in the microwave 15 seconds and take it out. It completely transforms it. If you don't put these in the microwave, they are nasty, so I really only recommend it if you can heat it it's not an on-the-go snack for me it's definitely a dessert that i have like intention of eating in the microwave and stuff but very very good uh i also have been liking the lesser evil popcorn in himalayan gold um i don't go through it very fast i don't eat popcorn too often because it's just a uh, filler slider food but uh every once in a while some popcorn is really good and this one is super good i will put up a picture of the macros here so as you can see it's not great not the best but it is not bad for what it is and it really does taste like movie theater popcorn to me which uh is honestly a good compromise in my opinion rather than the stuff i was using before this i was super impressed by uh if you haven't watched my videos for a while maybe you don't know that i am an extremely picky eater i have gotten better since surgery because i've had to open up my palate and my horizons a little bit but this i have tried and it tastes exactly like white wheat pasta and it has uh 190 calories for two ounces i eat about an ounce at a time so it's less than that and it has 10 grams of protein for two ounces so five grams of protein for an ounce while that's not great it's not a significant source of protein it makes it so at least there's some protein that i'm getting in the pasta versus none at all and it tastes really good i highly recommend it if you are looking for a bit of a treat, a sweet snack, I recommend the Hershey Zero Sugar Chocolates. I've tried the regular chocolate, the caramel filled chocolate, and the Hershey's uh, Reese's Miniature Cups. They're all very, very good. They satisfy that candy craving for me, and they don't have a negative effect that some people can get from those sugar-free items. I personally have been really, really lucky uh, to not experience the laxative effect of sugar-free candies and drinks and all of that fun stuff. So I'm really sorry if you do because I don't know what I would do without some of these substitutes. It, I think that would drive me a little crazy. But if you aren't sensitive, I highly recommend those if you need a candy fix. So thank you so much for watching. It has been a fun time. Just you and I talking, chatting 
I saw the girls today. We went to go visit colleges with Hannah and she liked what she saw and I'm really happy for her and I hope that that helped make her decision a little easier and we'll see where she ends up going. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a safe time, a uh, happy time until I see you guys next and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.